God's people to repent, for the Messiah was near. The people had prayed for it, yet they did not see the, the one they had been waiting for, and for was truly among them. That prophecy was being fulfilled in their midst. This morning, we light the candle of prophecy. Let this fire remind us that while we wait for the Lord, truly the Lord is right here. Hope is here. Love is here. Family is here. God of justice, your word is light and truth. Let your face shine on us, restore us, that we may walk in your way, seeking justice and doing good. Amen. Let's greet each other. Trust in the Lord and be good. Trust in the Lord and be good. Today, we to turn to God. Lord, Lord have mercy on us. The kingdom of heaven is near. Lord, Lord help us to spread the good news. Let's pray God, herald of Christ. It's 567. the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord. 
His, shall, his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meat of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fountain together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. On the day the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples, the nation shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Romans 15, verses 4 through 13. A call for Jewish believers in Rome to welcome Gentiles into full fellowship, even as Christ, the root of Jesse, has welcomed them all. By the power of the Spirit, Jews and Gentiles alike can be found in hope. Now hear the word. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, so that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, that together you may be one, voice glorifying the Father, God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Welcome one another, therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the circumcised on behalf of the truth of God in order that he might confirm the promises given to the patriarchs and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, therefore, I will confess you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. And again he says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the people praise him. And again Isaiah says, The root of Jesse shall come, the one who rises to rule the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one of whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, The voice of the one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Now John wore a clothing of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then the people of Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to him, and all the rain along the Jordan. And they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sin. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. 
I baptize you with water for repentance. But one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is, fork is in his hand. And he will clear his threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. This is the word of God to the people of God. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is your day? How is your weekend? Oh, what is that? <laughs> good or bad? Good or bad? Yes. I had a wonderful day. Wonderful days. I finished my classes. Two more exam <laughs> and charge conference. But um, I really enjoyed this wonderful day. Chilly, cold, but good. And I think you know what I'm doing. Don't wait. Um, I'm waiting for the beloved son. There are many expressions uh, about Jesus. Uh, some people say, Jesus is Christ, Lord, Teacher, Master, Good, Philosopher. Uh, but I, I really like that expression, the beloved Son. Jesus knows what is true love. He is the love. So, when we meet Jesus, we can know that what is the true love. We can experience that. And we, when we receive the true love, we can love each other. I can see that the love is in him, and every his life is rooted in the love. Yes, he is a true love, and every life is in him. While we are waiting together, I want to share a story. A very unique man. The beloved son did not show up to public. He was living in the Galilean hill. Interestingly, there was a man, very strange man, proclaimed the kingdom of God. His name was John. But many people called him the baptizer. As usual, he was preaching in the desert country of Judea. His message was simple and clear. Change your life. God's kingdom is here. Change your life. God's kingdom is here. When the people listened to John and his message, they reminded one of the greatest prophets, Isaiah, and his prophecy. Thunder in the desert, prepare God's arrival. Make the road smooth and straight. Like his message, his passion, created a sensation. He wear, uh, he dressed in a camel hair habit, tied at the waist by a leather skirt. Sensation fashion. He lived on a diet of locusts and wild field honey. People brought up all across the country, Jerusalem, Judea, and the Jordan countryside. They wanted to hear, the, hear and to see him in action. There at the Jordan River, those who came to confess their sin were baptized into a changed life. There were many people to come in order to confess their sin, in order to change their life. 
Then John realized that a lot of people were showing up for a baptismal experience. Yes, there were people who took part in a new spiritual experience without understanding John's message. They did not come to confess, not to come, uh, nor nor to change their life. They just came to the river because it was becoming the popular thing to do. John exploded, brutal snakes. What do you think you are doing? Do you think a little water on your snake skin is going to make any difference? It's your life that must be changed. Not your skin. And don't think you can pull rank by claiming Abraham as father. Being a descendant of Abraham is neither here nor there. Descendants of Abraham are a dime a dozen. What counts is your life? Is it green and blossoming? Because if it is that root, it goes on the fire. I'm baptizing you here in the river, turning your old life in for a kingdom life. I'm here to baptize you, turning your old life in for a kingdom life. The real action comes next. The main character in this drama compared to him. I'm a mirror strange hand. Will ignite the kingdom of life within you. A fire within you. The Holy Spirit within you. Changing you from the inside out is going to clean house. Make a clean sweep of your life. He'll place everything true in its proper place before God. Everything full, he'll put out with the trash to be burned. John knew that the beloved son is coming. He was waiting like us. Yet he did not just sit and wait. He had his own vision. He had to be the voice to warn the people. He could not help confessing his sin and changing his life for Then he shared his story. Change your life. Prepare the kingdom of God. We must confess our sin and change our life. If we had, if we have the command to prepare the sun's coming, we need to finish our mission. We have to complete our goal. We must make the road smooth. We believe in God, creator of all that is and all that is to come. In God's house are many rooms, and God prepares a place for us, so that where God is, we may be also. We believe in God. We believe also in Christ, who is our way, our truth, and our life. Through Him, we have seen God, who lived and worked in Him. We believe in the Holy Spirit who lives and works in us so that we may do the works that Jesus does and even greater works so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. Merciful God, thank you for gathering us together and worship together. And we really thank you for 
who you are and your presence, your leading, your guidance. And God, we are asking, please protect us and keep us strength in your presence. Let us realize your presence every time, every step in our life. Please open our eyes, open our ears, and open our hearts. There are some people who have sent today. God, we believe that you are with them. And plus your Holy Spirit unto them, unto us. And give us your power wisdom in order to serve you and serve your neighbors. God, as we listen, we want to prepare Jesus coming. We want to make the road smooth and straight. But we don't have a power, God. Please help us to take part in your ministry, in your mission, God. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Our God who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Go forth in the power of the Holy Spirit. Speak the truth of love and the miracle of forgiveness. May your life reflect the very presence of God. We go as children of the Spirit to share Christ's mercy and grace. Amen. Amen.